Hey guys, Gamer Charles Hard here and welcome back to the channel. I want to apologise, it's taken a while, I know some people have requested it, and also apologise for the bad audio quality and the fact that I went way, 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 way off track in the last video. That video is going to be renamed to something else, and this is going to be the new video of how to use Python to make simple script files for Windows. I do not own a Mac, I've never owned a Mac, I have nothing against them, I just never owned one, and I don't know difference between how you do certain things on Mac to Windows so unfortunately this is for Windows only if it helps you out great if it doesn't I'm sorry um, I'm not a technical wizard um, this is as simple as I can make this uh, what I've done is the first steps on how to install Python and make sure it's installed correctly are all going to be screenshots so you can easily pause the video and also see what's going on without having to worry about watching me type or hearing me type. Um, command prompts are a bit different which is later on and unfortunately that is not something I can show you, I have to type it out. Um, Everything you need will be linked down below and yeah, if this helps you out, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. I'd really appreciate it, it really helps me out. Um, and let's just get into the video. So first off, you'll need to go to python.org and simply hover over the downloads button and go down to Windows and it will come up with the newest version of Python at the time. Now, this is at the time I'm recording this. This Python version might be different because 3.9.1 was the version that I installed when I did the video the first time but it should work no problem at all even if it is a newer version and it just means that some bits might be a little bit different for you but it's nothing too complicated or anything like that. So basically once that's finished downloading you need to um, open that on up and it'll bring up this just here. Here. Now this is where I went wrong the first time and the real reason why I made this video in the first place to help other people who have this issue. Now normally you um, simply hit install now and it does it all itself and bada bing bada boom done. But unfortunately with Python this won't work because the path that it's going to place the folder in is completely and utterly wrong and the command prompts will just not work whatsoever or you have to probably like really change up the the uh, prompts to make it so complicated that it's not even worth it. So basically these are the steps that you'll need to follow in order to make sure that it installs correctly and that you can change your files to script files. So first off you'll need to make sure that you tick the little box at the bottom called add python 3.9 to path. Now my version is 3.9.1 so obviously this might be different for you down here and also the next step in a moment we're going to do is probably going to be different but I will show you what I mean. So once you've made sure that is ticked, simply click customize installation. It will bring you to this page just here, optional features. You don't need to do anything at all on this page, just simply hit next. Now advanced options is where we need to change some things. All these up here, I don't touch any of those, but it's this just here. Now this is the path that it's going to place the folder in from the first page as I mentioned it's completely wrong. Now if you are confused and you have say I don't know I'm not sure if this is right or not but say you have Python 4.1.1 for instance instead of 3.9.1 then basically if you go to the end of the whole line track this just here it says Python 3.9 for me because I have Python 3.9.1 so if you were say had 4.1.1 it would probably say python 4.1 instead of python 3.9 if that makes any sense now that little bit at the end capital p for python 3.9 that is what we need so the best bet for you guys you can either copy it or you could just type it out and this is all we need so as you can see that path before was huge long and it was going to place it in a really random folder in the middle of nowhere and it was not going to work but all you need to do is capital C, colon, backward slash, capital P, Python, 3, 9. As I mentioned, if you have a different version, just check the end of the first path and that will be the number that you use. But for this video, it's Python 3, 9. Now, once that is all you have in the installation location, all you need to do is hit install. And once it's installed, the best way to check that it's installed correctly is to simply go to your folders and click C colon. You'll then locate the folder in that folder. And if it's not there, then unfortunately it's not installed correctly and you're going to have to do those parts over again. 
and then if you open up the folder this is what you should find inside and also if you click at the top just up here it will then tell you the path that this folder is in and it should say c colon backward slash python the number so for mine 39 and then that is all you need to do python is now installed on your pc the next step is changing py files into pyo files and adding them to script files now that sounds very complicated i know but don't worry i'm going to take you through that step by step but first off I'm going to leave this on stage. These are the prompts that you are going to need for the next part of the video. So the first one is where you're going to use the command prompts to locate the folder that you are doing. And the next one will be to locate the file that you want to change into a PYO file. So these are what you're going to need. So the best bet for you guys is to probably pause this part of the video and write them down because you cannot copy and paste these into command prompts. The first one is exactly how it will be when we type it in but the second one is import and file name so the file name with the brackets part will actually just be the whole name of the file you are using dot py at the end so you'll see what i mean when i get to that part if you just give me a moment i will be back in a moment okay so next steps are very simple but you just need two things in to make sure they go smoothly for you first off is that you need to have a way to unzip and zip files i use ultimate zip will be linked down below as well as there are other programs such as winrar and 7zip which work perfectly fine now if you are using this to make script files i'm more than pretty sure that you already have something installed and none of them will be any different it's just the one i use if you want to know how to use us i'm pretty sure that i did a tutorial on how to install this on other video but in all honesty it's very easy and simple to install just simply click it follow the instructions boom it's done um, so with that one out of the way the next step is that when you have located your file that you want to change into script file you may see that it's a bit different than the one I'm showing you right now and the reason is because you need to when you are on your um, file explorer you need to um, basically if you if it if yours looks like this if you hit the little button at the top and hit minimize the ribbon it will bring this up right now now most people probably already have this visible anyway um obviously depending on the version of your pc it might be different for you but simply go to view and file name extensions need to be ticked on because as you see when i untick it the .py disappears but when i tick it it reappears it's an easier way to find files but also it's a way that you can change the name extension itself which is going to be needed in a few moments so please make sure that is ticked and once that is ticked i tend to have this hidden just because it takes up a bit of space and once you've located the py file you are going to be changing your script file simply cut or move that file straight into the python folder that you created recently and then the next thing we're going to need to do is we need to do go to windows or type in your search bar cmd it will then bring up the command prompt and the next thing we need is our cheat sheet because as i mentioned before this is something that you have to type in you cannot unfortunately paste this part and it needs to be basically moved over word for word so we're going to do capital c colon backward slash capital p python the version number for this one it's 39 backward slash capital P again for python dot exe space dash o as in on o for on and then hit enter now that's fine that part is done the next part again is very important to follow very carefully this file here you can change it to whatever you like as long as dot py is written at the end and that may make it easier for you to type in right here i'm going to leave it the same as an example but you can change it and then write it in here and it will work perfectly fine so for this one you need to write import space and then the whole file including capital letters and any special letters as well so capital s simmer charlie and then underscore capital c careers underscore v capital v vet and then capital c for careers again career sorry dot py you have to make sure that you put 
.py at the end because that is the whole name of the file and again if you do not see .py at the end of this file you need to make sure that the file name is picked and then simply hit enter now it may say no module found no services not working and you think oh gosh it's not installed correctly it's not working if you noticed if you have a, like an eagle eye this folder just appeared and inside the folder is our PYC file that we need. So we can say goodbye command prompt. We loved you. You helped us, but we are not needing you anymore. And I find it easy just to move the .py file into this folder here to do the next step. The next step is the reason why we have to have our file extension on again. Because what we're going to do is we're going to change all of this rubbish into simple terms of this. You get rid of all of that so that your file reads the name of the file which is the same as the .py but at the end it sort of says .pyc. The next step we're going to be using our um, WinRAR Ultimate Zip 7-Zip and we're going to add them to a zip file. And Once that's done you'll need to right click this and rename it. So I'm going to put it as Gamer Charizard underscore vet career, if I can spell. And then what you need to do here is you need to delete the end of that. So it would have said dot zip, but you need to delete that and change it to dot ts4 script. So the Sims 4 script, hit enter and then say yes. And there you go. There is your Sims 4 script file and it will work no problem at all because what I will do is I will cut that file and I will put it directly into the folder of my vet career. And there you go. That is done. And that is how you use Python to make Sims 4 script files for Windows. Now if you have any questions please comment down below. I hope this is a lot more simpler than the last time. Anything you need will be mentioned in the description so you can find them easy as well as the command prompts. But again if you want to have them a lot more easier to read then they will be obviously on this video at the beginning. And you can pause it there and write them down. And I really hope this helped you out. I'm sorry that it's taken me so long. And I appreciate you watching to the end. If this helped you and you like this video please like it. And also subscribe to the channel for more videos of Minecraft, Sims, Among Us and tutorials. Thank you so much. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye bye.